This is the Arcturix Atom LT jacket, which is now simply just called the Atom. The Atom jacket, in its various guises, has been at the core of the Arcturix active wear insulation for many, many years now. And it comes in a range of thicknesses or weights with slightly different features for each jacket. At the beefier end of the spectrum, you've got the Atom Heavyweight, which has replaced the Atom AR, or All Round. It's the same jacket, they just rebranded or renamed it. Prior to that, you also had the Atom SV or Severe, which was the biggest and bulkiest of the Atom range. I've got one of those too, but they have long since been discontinued, unfortunately. In the middle of the range, you have this, the LT or Light, Lightweight, or just simply, as I say now, the Atom. And then at the lightest end of the spectrum is the Atom SL or Super Light. That's the thinnest, lightest, and least insulated of all the Atom jackets. Each model comes in the hoodie version, such as this, or just a simple jacket version. But you can also get the LT, or just simply the Atom, as it's called now, in a gilet, or vest, as Arcturix call it too. Across the range, the Atom is designed to be worn either as a mid-layer or as an external layer, as I'm wearing it now. So, this is not an out-and-out -out B-lay jacket, for example. It's not a big, beefy outer layer, but it is reasonably weatherproof. You can wear it as an outer layer, but equally, it's light enough and compressible enough that you can wear it as a mid-layer too. All the jackets are filled with a core loft thermal insulation, and this is a sheet insulation rather than a loose fill insulation, hence the lack of baffles. Obviously it comes in varying weights and thicknesses for the different models of the jacket. And the outer fabric is a Tyono nylon fabric, which is water resistant but not waterproof or windproof. So, as I say, these jackets are not intended to be out and out belay jackets. They're not big, burly, weatherproof outer layers, but they are reasonably weatherproof nonetheless. So, yeah, the outer fabric is not windproof, but a combination of the outer fabric and the core loft sheet insulation is very, very wind, wind resistant, if not windproof. And again, while the outer layer is not a waterproof layer, it is reasonably water resistant. And when coupled with the DWR treatment that all the jackets have, at least initially when you first buy it, water will bead off reasonably well and it will keep most of the water out. Of course, that wears off pretty quickly and it will start to absorb water after a while, but then it's a, it's a synthetic insulation jacket, so it will still keep you warm even when wet. As this doesn't have a fully weatherproof outer layer, it's very soft, very comfortable and completely crinkle and rustle free. Whereas a heavier weight, burlier jacket with a more, much more weather resistant outer layer, you'll get more rustle and more crinkle when you're wearing it. The LT, or simply the Atom as it's known now, weighs in at about 370 grams for a size medium. So this is very much a mid-weight insulated layer. And the jacket has a simple one-way zip, which again, it's not water resistant like you might find in a shell jacket. Uh, being a one-way zip, you haven't got to worry about the bottom zipper breaking off and ruining your jacket. And you've got an internal zippered chest pocket, which is on the inside of the insulation layer, which so if you want to put your phone or camera in there, it's going to keep it warmer than if it was on the outside layer. It's pretty spacious as well. You have two sensibly situated hand warmer pockets, which again, they're inside the insulation layer. So they are actually hand warmer pockets. Some jackets, the pockets are on the outside of the thermal insulation, which completely defeats the object. And again, these have simple zips, which are slightly hidden underneath the baffling of the insulation. Then you have simple elasticated cuffs, no Velcro cuffs. Now you can't tighten or loosen them, but it's a reasonable gen reasonably generous fit. I'd say I've got fairly average size wrists and they fit me pretty well. And you have a very spacious storm hood, which is lightly insulated, so it's not quite as warm as the body of the jacket, but it still has some insulation in it. And this just has a, a single elasticated pull cord adjustment at the back. It's also a helmet compatible hood, which is pretty important for a jacket designed to be used by climbers and mountaineers. Now, it's not quite as big as the hood that you might find on a, a shell jacket, so the front of the hood doesn't come all the way down, and there's also no visor on the hood. But yeah, it'll comfortably fit over your helmet even if you've got a relatively huge head like me. I can turn my head, look up and down without being too restricted, without having the visor slip all the way down or the front of the jacket cut right all the way up. And you have twin elasticated adjustable draw cords at the hem as well to cinch the jacket in at the base. Now these are quite fiddly compared to something you might find on a, a heavier weight shell jacket. So it's not something I do very often, but it is there. So if you do need to cinch the bottom of the jacket in, you can do it, but like I say, it's a little bit of extra faff compared to what you might normally expect. 
And apart from the fill weight of the synthetic insulation of the jacket, the thing that sets the LT apart from the heavyweight or the SV or the other iterations of the jacket is the fact that it's got no insulation on the side and the underarm of the jacket. Instead, it's just a kind of fleecy, stretchy material. So obviously that reduces the weight of the jacket and the bulk of the jacket, but also increases the breathability of the jacket. So this jacket is something you like to be potentially be wearing while you're on the move. So slightly more active than the AR or SV iterations of the jacket. While this jacket is not something which is designed to be worn explicitly when you are climbing, of course you might choose to use it while you're climbing. And if you do want to use it as an outer layer, it does fit pretty comfortably underneath your harness. So compare this to the Arcturix Alpha FL shell jacket, for example, which I reviewed recently. You've got much more material underneath the hip belt of the harness. So when you reach your arms up, the jacket isn't lifting all the way out the harness like my Alpha FL jacket does. So yeah, as I say, it's not designed to be worn as an outer shell for climbing, but you can, if you choose to, use it while climbing. Of course, when you're wearing the harness, you do lose at most of the access to these hand warmer pockets, but again, you're climbing, you're not really going to be putting your hands in your pockets very often because you're going to be on the rock, or at the very least, in gloves. Of course, if you're using this as a mid layer, then having access to the pockets doesn't matter anyway. This jacket, as well as the other jackets in the Atom range, have a fitted cut, so much like the Alpha shell jackets, it's designed to fit quite close to the body. It's relatively tight fitting and designed for an athletic build, so broader at the shoulders, narrower at the waist. But that said, it is a much more generous shape than the Alpha FL jacket which I reviewed recently. For reference, this jacket is a size large and this is how it fits me. So I'm just under 6 foot, about 182 centimetres tall, weigh about 90 kilos, so I'm quite big and broad for a climber and mountaineer. And yeah. If I just wanted to wear this jacket as a mid layer jacket, I could probably fit it into the size medium, although the arms would have been a bit too short for that. But yeah, as I want to use this as both a mid layer and an outer layer, I got the size large. This can comfortably fit over the top of my shell jacket if I want to use it as a billet jacket, for example, and just chuck it on quickly on top of your gloves, jacket, harness, and everything else. So in that regard, it's much more versatile for me having this in the large than it would have been in the medium. This jacket currently retails at around about 250 euros. Now, for a point of clarity, I didn't buy this jacket. Now, I'm not sponsored in any way, and this isn't a paid promotion, but I did get this jacket for free as basically payment for volunteering for the Arcturix Alpine Academy a couple of years ago. So yeah, I do absolutely love this jacket, but it's not something I would have bought if I had to pay for it, because at the end of the day, I'm a ski bum, I'm not made of money, and it's a reasonably pricey jacket, and it doesn't really do anything that other jackets I currently own don't do. That said, I'm certainly not complaining that I do have the jacket, because yeah, it's a lovely, comfortable, easy to use, jacket which looks great as well. So in summary, this is a comfortable and very versatile mid or outer layer jacket which comes with the usual and expected Arcturix build quality and design and looks pretty good too, but is it something I would have bought when I already have jackets to do a very similar job for a fraction of the price? No, but am I glad that I've got it? Absolutely.